everyone and welcome to my channel, Whimsy Cat DIY Home Decor. I'm Kat and on this channel I do thrift hauls, thrift flips, and furniture refinishing and a variety of DIY projects, all for a profit. I have one goal to do this on a budget and to resell and make a profit typically in my retail booth or on Facebook Marketplace. So if this sounds interesting, I hope you will subscribe to my channel by clicking the button below and then clicking the bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video, which I do try to do weekly. So today I have a fabulous thrift haul to share with you. We had beautiful weather here in Fort Worth this weekend, so I was able to find a number of yard sales and garage sales, and I was able to get quite a few pretty impressive finds. So let's get to it. So the weather is still pretty good here, so we're filming out on the porch, so hopefully the lighting is good. But I wanted to share with you one of my first finds that I really, really liked her. Look at this. It's tin, a metal box. She's really beautiful. She's in like amazing shape. There's really no dents, no dings, no imperfections. It looks like the previous owner had uh, kind of filled it with dried fruit and other kind of dried items. But I think this would be amazing by just putting kind of a, a chalk paint and finish on it, doing that wet distress technique, because look how ornate this is. This will distress beautifully. And look at this little bird at the top. She's so gorgeous. And she's got some really great detail that when we wet distress, it'll just bring out the beauty even more. So I'm so excited by this find. Uh, I paid $8 for her, so actually probably a little more than I would typically pay, but I think I can pretty easily guarantee I can sell this for at least $22, $25, but stay tuned because we're going to do uh, the upgrade, the flip, in a future video, so I'll be anxious for you to see her when she's finished and to hear your comments. Now, this next item, I wasn't quite sure what to do with it, but I thought it was cool. It's an oar, just a boat oar, but look, it's wood. And it's in great condition. It's already pretty old, pretty distressed, uh, but I thought, you know what? I'm sure we can make some really awesome home decor piece out of this. Now, frankly, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with it, but um, I'm sure we can find something pretty creative. So if you have any ideas, share it in the comments below. I love to hear the feedback. I love to hear the comments. You guys are so creative. I love it. Next piece is this. Look, it's a cheese cutter, cheese tray. It's got the little knife here on the side. Um, probably everyone had this in their house at some point in time. But what I loved about this is this is solid wood. I mean, this is one piece, a chunk of wood and it's heavy and it's in great shape. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to somehow figure out how to remove this little piece where the knife slides in, take that off, distress it up, some chalk paint most likely, and then distress it up because it's got beautiful legs. Look how gorgeous it is, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then we'll turn it into a riser. Wouldn't this be cute? I mean, oh, some little floral, some little knickknacks on top of it, absolutely gorgeous. Look at the price tag. I paid $2 for this, $2. I can easily sell this in my shop for probably $12 to $15. So we'll see. Like I said, I'm going to do some future videos and I'm going to uh, show you all of what we did to all these amazing things we found over this thrift haul. So stay tuned. Okay, next thing, I found a lot of smalls, little things. Like, I love pictures. So, anytime I can pick up any of these pictures at yard sales or thrift stores, I try to do it because they sell very, very well, especially if they have kind of unique designs. And I love this one. I love the little handle. It's pretty different and it's perfect. There's no chips in the ceramic. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I got this one. I also got this little girl, and look at her. She's got great detail too. Just really simple, basic, just really subtle, but absolutely gorgeous. And then I found this little guy. Look, so gorgeous. I'm thinking for these three pictures, most likely, you've probably seen it, I'm gonna do it on these uh, three little pictures. I'm gonna do that faux cement finish 
uh, with the chalk paint and then over top I'm going to put the white wax because that really brings out the detail. It'll bring out all this beautiful detail in this little picture and this one as well. And I may sell them as a set of three. I'm not sure yet, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. So hang in there with me. Next, look at this. Look at this beauty. Look how cute she is. That's a little chicken. But I think her purpose was a salt and shaker salt and pepper shaker holder because she's got two little areas right here where the little shakers could sit and then in the back it looks to me like right here in this tail area you could put some napkins so adorable she's absolutely adorable so anytime i find chickens or roosters they sell so well in my store so i always pick them up and i just love them myself in fact i'm already in love with her i don't know that she'll make it to the booth she may have to stay home However, I'm thinking something similar, although I think with her, we might do a little pop of color. I really love the Dixie Belle paints. They've got such a great palette. And I also like the DIY paint. It does very, very well. And so those are usually my two go-to brands when I'm uh, refinishing. And when I think of a pop of color, I really like the Apothecary in the DIY paint. So we'll see, but please come back. I want you to see how she turns out. She's absolutely gorgeous. I love her. And on that same uh, kind of theme, look at this little girl. Look how beautiful she is. Look at her texture. Isn't it rich? Oh my gosh. On uh, one little area, her tail is broken off. But that wasn't a deterrent for me because it's so easy to take that air dry clay and just kind of form a little piece there to make it whole again. But her texture and her face, absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'll do some sort of painting technique on her and then an overlay that really brings out all that beauty in her. I'm in love. She's so cute. Um, next, also, I found this, look, silver, it's got some tarnish on it, um, great patina to it, paid 75 cents, 75 cents, really good deal. However, silver doesn't seem to sell well in my booth, but if I do some sort of paint finish over it, it'll go just like that. So I'm thinking with this, I'm probably going to do that same kind of technique, that faux cement, and a little white wax to bring out all this detail and it will make it pop because it's really got some great detail on it. Once I do that, I'll put her in the booth, 75 cents, sell her for 10 probably. What a profit, huh? Wish I could do that on every item. Okay, so next, uh, it seemed to be the weekend for candle holders. And I love some candle holders and they sell really, really well in my shop depending on what they're made of, kind of the look and feel of them. But I gotta share with you kind of the score of the century for me personally. So here's the first one. Look at this. She's a good three feet tall and she's heavy. She's made out of like a ceramic uh, plastic kind of mold, I think. Uh, that's what it feels like to me, but very substantial. But look at that detail. It's already distressed. It's already perfect. It really just needs some cleaning up. And it's ready to go. It's ready to go into the store, which uh, I love those finds where you really have very little effort and you make a big profit. So this one also came with this. Look how beautiful. Also distressed already. A really nice finish on her. She's gorgeous. Perfect. And then a third one, a little smaller, a little different style, but a set of three. Absolutely gorgeous. Look, there's nothing, absolutely nothing I need to do. I'll clean these up a little bit, dust them off, put them in the store, put a price tag on them. They'll be gone by the end of the week, no doubt about it. But you know what? With the three, I also got this next one, which, wait till you see her. Oh my gosh, I can't even pick her up. She's so big. Look, I can't, don't, can barely get her in the shot. She's probably a good four feet and she's heavy. She's got this stone faux finish kind of look already. Once again, it's kind of that molded plastic type of material. Very heavy, very substantial. 
with her, I think I might just kind of redo the base because uh, it looks like stone. Put some white wax just over the, the body of this candlestick to really bring out even more all this detail, all this beauty. But look, four, four of these, $10. Can you believe it? $10. Oh my gosh. I'll easily probably sell the four for a total of $50. So look at that profit. Very seldom do I ever run across a find that I think, oh my gosh, score the century. I'm so excited. Can't wait to get these in the shop. Just a little cleaning up and they're good to go. Put a price tag on them. They'll be gone by the weekend. On that same kind of note, I found these babies. Look at this. Look how beautiful. Chunky, heavy, ceramic. But look at the detail. Absolutely gorgeous. There's two of them. Sisters, they're the same size. They're absolutely gorgeous. I paid $10 for the set uh, and they're heavy. I'm probably gonna do uh, very similar to the white ones, kind of that white farmhouse chalk paint over top, bit of distressing, probably a wet distressing effect to kind of bring out some detail, because these are beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. I paid $10 for them. I'm probably gonna sell them for $40 for the set, and I'll have no problem at all having someone pick these beautiful pieces up. It's, it's gonna be a piece of cake. Now, Lastly, are these you know, little wrought iron ones I found at a thrift store. Whenever I can find kind of these little wrought iron ones, I always pick them up because people really seem to like them and I really don't do a lot to them. And typically, if they're black like this, I might put a little chalk paint on, do a little wet, wet distressing to just bring out some of the detail, or I might use the Waverly wax, the dark wax, and just put it over because it seems to give this wrought iron black finish just this deepest glow. It's just a beautiful finish. Uh, so if you've not tried that, I would highly recommend trying that on a piece, seeing what you think. But that's kind of what I got planned for these two, but we'll see. I gotta think about it a little more. Um, and then, I really love these. I'm not sure, I'll be interested in your opinion, but I'm not sure about the print on this one. But look at these, they're huge. And look at the wood. These are beautiful. The frame on these are like, it looks like kind of a barn wood, um, very rustic um, and very substantial. I mean, there's nothing wrong with these at all. Uh, this has this uh, kind of duck, farmhouse, old farmhouse kind of print. Not sure I'm in love with it, but I, I love the frame. And then I got her sister, which I do love the frame. And I love the print on this one. It's sunflowers. Look, sunflowers. Who doesn't love a sunflower, right? But look at this. Look at the character in these frames. Look at this imperfection. It looks like some nail holes going across the top. This is old wood that somebody uh, put together. They made it, it's beautiful. I don't expect to do a lot to this, frankly. I'm gonna clean them up, um, maybe put a little wax, some kind of sealant on this wood because you can tell it's not been sealed and I'm gonna put it in the store. I paid, I don't know if there's a, price tag on this, but I paid $2 a piece for these. $2! These are beautiful. They're huge and they're heavy and they're chunky. I can sell these for $22 a piece. That's my plan. Um, not sure quite yet what I'm going to do, uh, but you know, frankly, when you find pieces like this and you don't have to put a lot of effort into it, you just clean it up, a little elbow grease, put a price tag on it, put it in the store, those are the best finds of all because you have very little time in there. So you can pass that savings on to your customer, but for $2 and to sell for $22, that is an amazing profit. And so I have no doubt we're gonna be able to sell these beautiful pieces in no time at all. So, but stay tuned because I'm gonna keep you posted on how we do. Okay, so. The last two items I got 
are beautiful. They're furniture pieces. One is antique and one is just a an end table that has been used and abused and painted multiple times, but still a lot of character, still a lot of use left into it. And so that uh, is what I'm gonna show you next, the last two pieces of my haul, and then we'll do videos where I can take you through the whole process of refinishing, bringing them back to life, and selling them in the resale booth. So. Um, hold on just a moment. I'm gonna walk us into the house where I have the furniture pieces and I'm gonna show you those great finds. Okay, we're inside and look at this beautiful vintage piece. Absolutely gorgeous, great condition, really very few imperfections. It's absolutely gorgeous just the way it is, but I have some ideas for it. So look here, look at the top. It's in great condition hardly any imperfections in it at all. It's probably over a hundred years old. The drawers are in excellent condition. They function very well. All the hardware is there. Even that one that shows that is missing is in the drawer. I'm thinking I'm gonna use DIY paint, the apothecary color, because I'm just so in love with that color. I think it would be good on the body of this and then keep the top kind of a natural wood but we'll see. I'd love to hear your opinion. Give me some comments below on what you think about this piece and how we can refinish it. I paid $50 for it. I think I can easily sell it for $150 after it's completely finished. Not sure about the hardware, but I do think I'll keep the original hardware. Just uh, brighten it up a bit for this piece. So leave me some comments below and stay tuned because next week, I think we'll start the process on refinishing this and getting it ready for retail sale. So stay tuned for that video. And then lastly, here is this little end table. You can see it's had multiple coats of paint. It looks like brown, white, who knows what's under all that. But what I'll do is I'll sand all that down, get it, try to get it back to kind of natural wood. I'll take that old base off, put a new modern base, some new legs on it, um, paint it a more farmhouse color and uh, probably sell it. I bought it for $5, $5, who can beat that? Every time I can find a good piece of furniture for that price tag and it has good bones, I'm gonna buy it because we can flip it. There's no doubt about that. So I'm thinking once it's finished, maybe we can sell it $40, $50, uh, but for a $5 investment, a little bit of paint, what a profit that is. So please stay tuned and uh, we'll do that in a future video. Okay, so that's everything I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed all these thrift finds and I hope you all stay tuned and join me for future videos where I show you the end result after we kind of repurpose, refinish, get them ready for resale. Uh, you'll see that in upcoming videos, but thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really enjoy these videos. I enjoy interacting with all of you, so please leave me comments below. And once again, if you uh, found this interesting, please stay around and click that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up because that really does help my channel to grow. Thank you so much. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye now.